always, always on the road. Hey everyone, uh, welcome, welcome back. You came back. That's great. Um, this is the next uh, video in our numbers all around us, or our whole numbers unit. And um, this this video is more about life. Life, you know, life we have problems, and in fact we have word problems. And I, I always say, in life, math happens. And there's just lots of stuff going on in life, and lots of numbers, and you don't even realize that you are doing math half the time. So, for example, here's... An, a newspaper article from 2003 talking about some wildfires that happened and this is just a lot of numbers for example we have this number actually these are numbers a number there that's a number a number there uh, see one there and one there so even just looking at that in this problem or if this if we were to make a word problem out of this there are a few numbers we could use Quite a few, actually. So let's move on. Right there. So let's just let's go through some examples here, and and you know how life is full of problems. We have lots of problems. So uh, this problem has the population of Canada was about 32 million 980 thousand in July 2007. Now the data shows that there were about 497 cell phones every thousand people or per thousand people in that year. So how many cell phones were there in Canada in 2007? So we kind of have a few numbers here, and we're going to have to actually do a couple steps to figure this out. So first of all, we have the fact that there's almost 500 cell phones per thousand people. Okay, so that's a fact we need to know. And then using the population of Canada from July 2007, I know that's eight years ago at this point, um, we're going to figure this out. So we need to figure out how many groups of a thousand there are in 32 million nine hundred eighty thousand? So we need to we need to do some division here, and I think I have a calculator hidden over here. I do. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to type in 32 million nine hundred eighty thousand, and on this here, the slash here is my division button. I'm going to divide by one thousand, and I get that number. So I'm going to write that in. That is 32,980. And what this number means is how many groups of a thousand there are. Okay? We have 32,980 groups of a thousand. So let's move on here. Okay? Well, now that we know how many groups of a thousand are, we can solve the problem, right? Okay? So let's move on to the next screen. And this is that fact. Same problem up here. But um, here's that same fact that we just, or that fact we just learnt um, just on the previous screen here. So now we are told in the problem that there are 497 cell phones per 1,000 people. Well, well, we'll need to multiply those groups of 1,000 by 497. So again, I'm going to get that trusty old calculator out. So there's our 32,980, 32, and I'm going to multiply that by 497. So again, what we're doing is we're taking the number of groups of a thousand people in the population of Canada, and we're multiplying it by the fact that there's 497 cell phones per thousand people. And I get this really big number. So that means in Canada, there were 16,391,060 cell phones in Canada in 2007. Okay. Now we have that we have that number, and hopefully we're going to remember that number. And we're going to see. Well, are we are we Looney Tunes? That seems like a really large number. So in order to figure out, are we out to lunch? Maybe we should do something called estimating. And estimating is finding an answer, but that is reasonable. It's not. Um, it's going to be a close answer. It's not necessarily going to be the. It will definitely not be the exact answer. So let's think. Back to our original problem, the population of Canada was 32,000, 32 million, sorry, 980,000. And if we're going to say, if we're going to estimate that, let's round down to 30 million. And it's closer to 30 million than it is to 40 million. So 
given the same steps we did, we're going to take that 30 million and we're going to divide by a thousand. So let's enter that in the calculator. 30 million, and here's the thousands, and here's the units period, and let's divide that by 1,000. And I get 30,000. Well, I think, if I remember correctly, originally we had the exact answer was 32,980. So that's a pretty good estimate. I think we're I think we're on the right track here. Okay, so 497, that was the number of cell phones per 1,000 uh, people in a group, is closer to 500 than it is to 400. In fact, it's only three off. So that's a really good estimate is to go to 500. Well, there is that. So let's double check here. 30,000, that was our estimate for the, the number of groups of um, 30 million. And we're going to multiply that by 500, which is our estimate for the number of cell phones. And that gets us, yes, 15 million. So we were originally 16 million or so, 16 million and change, there it is, 16,391,060. And that's closer to 15, that's pretty close to 15 million. I mean, it's over a million off, but it's still a pretty reasonable answer. An unreasonable answer would have been like 160 million, that would be, or 160,000, that would not be reasonable either. So we have the same amount of digits, and that's what's important. Okay, let's do some practice questions here. I just made this up. Let's say that there are some Olympic games in the years 3024 and 3028, actually the, the Martian winter games on the planet Mars. And I have a table here and you can see across the, the two years I was indicating. And then we have some columns about number of athletes that participated on the planet Mars and their, their winter games. I don't know what events they're doing, but there they are. And the number of coaches that would have gone with them. Now, what is the total number of participants in the year 3024? Well, it's not just athletes, otherwise there'd be no math here. So you can imagine that coaches are participating in some manner. So let's take that number, uh, the athletes, 2,060, sorry, yeah, 2,768, and let's add the coaches, 142. And so in the year 3024, there was 2,910 participants. Well, how many more athletes participated in the year 3028 than 3024? Well, good thing I just did that thing because I know that this is the year 3024. I just have to figure out the year 3028. So let's zero out our calculator. Um, the participants for this one we're going to figure out is those two. So 3,252 plus 263 is 3,000. 515. Okay, so this is the year 3028. Now that, that doesn't answer our question. We still have to do some math here. So how many more athletes? Now when you see how many more, that is a signal that we need to do some subtraction. So in this case, uh, I need to take my larger number, which is 3515, and I'm going to subtract the number from the previous Martian Winter Games, which was 2000. 910 and my answer is there was 605 more participants in the year 3028 than in the year 3024. That is a silly example but you can see that if you were in the future you could answer that problem. Okay one last one here and this is um, just gonna use a few steps here and here's the problem and this is a real life problem it happens all the time the owner of a building downtown renovated 23 offices okay so this building had 23 offices inside and if he was to paint them painting each office cost three thousand six hundred thirty two dollars and not only that he's putting a new carpet which for each apartment was nine thousand eight hundred twenty one so using your that little thing in your noggin there your brain which operation or operations should we use to find the cost of each office so i'm going to give you a hint it's going to be either addition subtraction multiplication or division or a combination of both and since i like to do different questions here you could probably guess we're gonna have a combination here that's probably a hint so i'm gonna let you pause there for a sec and i want you to consider which operations are we definitely going to be using okay okay now that you've got your brains working um, let's talk about that and 
let's estimate the cost. So we have 23 offices, okay? And let's let's um, estimate these costs. And let's probably do, you know, the first one, the the office. So we have 3,632. Well, let's let's round that up to four thousand dollars, for instance. And let's take the other one, nine thousand eight hundred twenty-one. So these are dollar signs. And let's round that up because it's closer to ten thousand than it is to nine thousand. Okay, well now that we know that, we can do some estimating here. So there's 23 offices, so I'm gonna take my 23, and I'm gonna multiply, let's do the painting first, which our estimate was 4,000, and we get $92,000 just for paint. Okay, that's our estimate, okay? Let's do the carpet now. 23 offices times $10,000 that we came up for carpet, and we get two hundred and thirty thousand dollars. Okay. Well, now we're going to do these two numbers. We're going to add them. Okay. And this will be the total cost for all our estimate total cost for all twenty-three offices. So I'm going to keep this number two hundred thirty thousand. Uh, just leave on the calculator because that's convenient. So I'm going to add. No, I'm not. So two hundred thirty thousand plus. 92,000, and this will be our estimate. 322,000 dollars. That's our estimate. So let's remember that as we move into, well, what's the exact cost? Okay, well, hmm. Let's do the same step. So the first step that we did was we multiplied, and we multiplied 23 for the paint first. So the paint exactly was 3,000. 632 and we're multiplying by 23 so in fact the exact cost will be 83,536 dollars now our estimate was 92,000 well that's that's pretty good I mean we're got the same amount of digits I'm not I'm, I'm not ashamed of that so let's do the carpet get that ready there so let's do our 23 and let's multiply by 9,821, and this is the exact cost for carpet, and that is 225,383. And we came up with 230,000, that's actually even closer estimate, and that makes sense because we were only $200 difference in our estimates. Okay, well are we done? No, we need to find the exact cost. So just like we did with the estimate, we need to add these two together. So 83,000 536 for the paint. I'm going to add 225,383. And we get a grand total of 309,419 dollars. And that is pretty good because we have six digits in the 300,000s for our, our estimate, which we did right there. Okay, so so I bet you you all want to run out and get uh, a downtown building and start renovating. Um, I hope you have that much pocket change in your uh, kicking around, and uh, that's really it. So basically, this lesson was showing that we have numbers every day, and they happen every day and people actually have to use their brains and figure out how am I gonna do this because it's just not gonna show up on its own. So again, the thing to remember here is in life, math happens. So thanks guys for listening. Have a good time.